I think the best way to get ahead, to seriously get ahead in life, is to not focus on yourself, but to focus on other people. To treat them with hospitality, to, to hug your customers, to make sure other people's lives are better, to provide some sort of care. And this is not a sexy topic because most people are focused on themselves, self-improvement, getting ahead. What can I be famous for? What can I be known for? How do I show off? How do I, you know, a lot of people spend a bunch of money to appear high status. They spend a bunch of money to look rich. A lot of these rappers, a lot of these YouTubers, you guys watch these masculine figures. They're, they're trying to look like they have got their shit together and they're high status and they made it so that you look to them. But really, they're just like you, dude. They're just like you. Okay? And um, the way to get ahead in in the long run and to have meaning in your life is not is not to focus only on yourself. Okay? It is by improving the lives of other people. And you do that by providing hospitality, by being kind. Not by being like a weird, nice guy kind. That's not what I'm saying. Not slimy. You know the guys that are overly nice. It's kind of weird to be around them. It's like, why are you too nice, dude? Why are you too nice? So you got to find a balance that takes self-awareness. It takes skin in the game that you actually got to go around and see, okay, maybe I was being a little bit fucking weird doing this, being over the top. So you find a nice medium that is helpful, warm, but also has strength and uh, and competence, you know, and, and there is a charisma within that. Uh, but not like your weird, nice guy that goes to a freaking feminist rally just so he can get laid. You know, that's weird, dude. You don't really support the cause. You're just trying to get laid. And you'll realize, dude, by providing this service, by putting in just a tad bit more effort to the people around you, your life gets better. Because if you think about it, people are all that matters. Humans are the only thing that matters. Nothing else in your life is going to give you the most enjoyment compared to other people. Intimate relationships, friendships, family, community, brotherhood. Nothing else. What you know? We talked about this last video. You're alone on the earth. You're gonna off yourself, Max. You know, I'm gonna be honest. If I'm the last man on earth, no women around, no, no, nothing. I'm probably gonna off myself within a few months. Life is meaningless in the face of when there's no other humans to share life with. So that is the point: is that you put a little bit of more effort into the people around you. You become somewhat of a servant to those around you. It says in Matthew in the Bible, it says, to those who want to be great, you got to become a servant. To sum it up, to paraphrase that verse, it, pretty much you got to be a servant if you want to be great. Jesus comes down to earth on his 33 years that he's on earth. He's a servant. He goes around he feeds the people that need to be fed, takes his disciples, go, goes and performs miracles. The ultimate servitude, the ultimate sacrifice that he crucified, he goes on a cross so he could die for humanity. He could be the ultimate sacrifice, pure. He would take on the sin of the world. It's a good, good analogy, a good metaphor, a good story there. Because... It's, it's what, imagine if you just tweaked your life to be more helpful, to be more, to give a bit more effort to those that you care about. Dude, your life would fucking change. But again, it's that's when you actually have to make a shift that life is not all about me. I don't get myself to be happy in my room all day, jerking off, playing video games, and eating a bunch of food, it won't make me happy. I become a rat when I do that. Okay, I, you become a rat. So in order to find true happiness, is to commune and be with other people, seeing their smiles, 
them not have to suffer. So you'll realize that caring for other people is actually self-care. That's what it really comes down to. When you care about others, you realize you're caring about yourself. It illuminates. It helps you understand yourself better. I think I think you'll never lack for money because you'll realize that humans always need care. And so if you realize the needs of others, the needs of yourself, you will always be in business because you see their needs and you as a man, you become strong, you become knowledgeable, you're growing on this earth. You can fulfill those needs of others, whether that be the craftsman, the the guy that works in the trades that fixes the toilets or fixes your freaking uh, AC system. It could be the comedian that makes people laugh, peers inside, you know, the mind of, you know, just just freaking makes people laugh. Goes on stage, makes people laugh. That's entertainment. That is providing value to someone else. It could be the the anything you think of, anything you think of, entertainment services, pro, making products, good selling something, selling something to someone something they need your whole life would change it's really that simple but it takes you stepping back not always putting the eyes on yourself you don't get to only focus on yourself and expect to be happy or expect to get ahead you can't just appear like a rich man but not make the lives of other people rich what we have is a lot of people acting like kings Right, we, we see they act like they're kings and they're on top of the world. Through, they do this deceptively through social media. But the, the king is there to serve his people and keep order and make the lives of the people better. These are not real kings, man. These are, these are f- foolish princes that are dressed up. It's all a LARP. It's all a LARP. Everyone's LARPing. Right? Everyone's LARPing. Now, I know I've been kind of running on, going all over the place because I'm trying to get these thoughts out. You may have missed this, but I, I truly believe that you will, a lot of you guys like want to be entrepreneurs, you want to be businessmen. Um, you'll never lack for ideas if you understand that it's all about care for other people. Like you, you'll never run out of ideas. It's just implementing on those ideas. It also is, you don't need to be an entrepreneur or businessman. You go become someone that learns stuff that other people haven't learned that makes their lives better just like a tradesman is making other people's lives better by doing stuff they don't know how to do i don't know how to put on a new roof or you know fix my electrical stuff in the house i just don't know how to do that so if i call an electrician over he's making my life better because he has the skills that i don't and he and he's helping me so you have to understand that thing i would I would just start here. Like, if you don't really have anything else, just put a little bit more effort. Put a little more effort into maybe your text messages. If your friends need help, like, actually, not saying, hey, man, like, if you need anything, call me. You're like, but actually, say, like, hey, man, if you need anything, call me. Let's hang out. Let's go, uh, let's go get a drink together or invite him somewhere. Don't be so vague in your effort. Maybe put a little bit more care with your customers. Hug your customers. Hospitality goes a long way. If you're a server in a restaurant, go the extra distance. You know, give a few more freaking mints. I don't know. Fill up the water without asking. I don't freaking know. Just find ways to be better at serving and service. And if you do this, your life will be better, man. It will simply be better. Again, don't do it in a slimy way. Do it because you genuinely care about others. And you realize that it's not all about you. Okay, so I think that's the way. A lot of times I think men suffer because they're playing God. They, they are judging too harshly. That is not for you to do. Of course we're supposed to judge we pick up on clues, we can judge the character of someone. 
but a lot of times we judge way too harshly and when you judge so people so harshly for every little thing because their worldview is a little bit different than yours you you got to like you're being critical on them but you're also being critical on yourself it's a mirror and right you got to realize that ev- like listen the people close to you you know you might get a you might get a little bit oh he's wrong there he's wrong here sure we, we all think we're the freaking genius right we're, we're the center and we're the genius and the people further outside of our circle are evil and no good with different religions oh they're kind of stupid people that have different views and beliefs oh they're kind of stupid the left the right it's the people that are closest to us our friends we mostly agree on most stuff but some stuff they're kind of stupid they don't know but it's just wrong you are not that smart you only you can only perceive a, a handful of bits of data in your environment at once you don't know everything that's going on don't it doesn't matter all the youtube videos you watch all the books you've read you just don't so the more that you get yourself stuck in this ego, this cocoon, and think that you're the freaking know-it-all, and you got everything figured out, dude, the more you're going to look at other people as the enemy. And that's going to keep you from, from providing real care and having a, a good relationship with other people. Because you think you're just alienating yourself. You're playing God. You're judging too harshly. And then you got to judge yourself. So, that's all that needs to be said. Become servants, you know. Become servants. Help other people. Hospitality, kindness. Do it because you can. Do it because you're a man. And a man is supposed to protect the community. A man is supposed to uplift. Be strong enough to do so. You know, cowards always need support. Cowards always need someone. No, a man is there for the family, for his friends. He's got answers. He's also got love. Right? Come on in here. Daddy's got you. All right? So take care, man. Let's have a freaking great week. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.